Hi, I'm Rich Brown for CNET. Today we're going to take a look at Apple's new Editor's Choice winning iMac. So this is the 27-inch version of Apple's new iMac, and this model in particular is the 1999 version with a few upgraded specs. It comes to $2,600 with all the upgrades, but we find it's definitely worth it considering how fast it is and how good the screen looks. Now one of the first things Apple mentioned about the new iMac is its new thin design. So from that angle you can see this bezel here, it's about 5 millimeters thick, and it really looks like this is a revolutionary new display. Now we keep going here, and you'll see it's actually not quite as thin as Apple made it out to be. There's this big bulge here in the back, and from front to back the monitor is actually about 2.5 inches thick. Now it's certainly not a behemoth, but it's also not the sort of razor thin display that Apple put out there. Now of course a standout feature with a 27 inch iMac is it's a giant gorgeous display. So this is a 27 inch screen and it's 2560 by 1440 pixel resolution. That puts it among the ranks of the highest res all in ones out there. Now on top of that high quality screen, Apple's also really tried to minimize the reflections you get from the glossy bezel. Apple's had some pretty good success here. It's not entirely reflection free, but it's also better than some of the other high end 27 inches we've seen. Now behind all those good looks is the fastest all in one that we've tested. So it has a 3.4 gig Intel Ivy Bridge Core i7 CPU, a 2 gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680 XM mobile graphics chip, 8 gigs of RAM, and what Apple calls its Fusion hard drive. In this case, that's a 1 terabyte standard mechanical hard drive, as well as a 128 gig solid state drive merged into a single drive volume. So those are all very high end components and make this the fastest all in one that we've ever tested. Now there's four USB ports here, and that's actually USB 3, which is a nice upgrade from the previous USB 2 iMac. Here you've got a couple Thunderbolt ports, we've seen those before, and finally there's an Ethernet jack. So to get at the memory, you have to remove the power cable, and you can see in the socket here there's a little button. Now the idea is you push that button, and this panel comes down, and that's where the memory sits. The problem is that button is really hard to push. Your finger, or mine at least, is too big to get in there to push it as far as it needs to go. So I've been using a pen, kind of drive the button up in there, and eventually the panel pops off just enough you can get your finger in and pull it off. Now rounding out the features on the new iMac, there's two microphone inputs up here. The hard to see, but they definitely improve voice fidelity when you're making calls. Now as I mentioned, our iMac review unit comes with a lot of upgraded parts and that puts its price pretty high up at about $2,600. It starts at $1,800 though, so that makes the system really pretty competitive given that you still get the Core i5 CPU, a standard terabyte hard drive, as well as the big display. Now there are some points of inconvenience with this system. The lack of a direct HDMI input and no optical drive means you have to jump through a few hoops if you want to use it for home entertainment. But especially for serious users that need a high resolution screen and all the performance you get with this system, this is an easy recommendation. So I'm Rich Brown, this is Apple's new Editor's Choice winning 27 inch iMac.